We've got a real treat for you guys, especially all you Outlander fans out there. He's charming. He's Scottish. He's <laughs> handsome. No, he did not pay me to write this. You guys, he is joining us now in studio, Mr. Richard Rankin himself. Oh, Welcome, Richard. my friend. Hello. Hello. Um, oh, you're oh, all in the same Scottish. Man, Welcome. I gotta say. Look yeah, at no, the I black got the green. email. Thanks for that. <laughs> I'll give you that ten dollars later. Oh, no See, problem. Isn't he charming. You weren't lying, charming. Cass. Charming. Yes, Richard, you weren't lying. You are. Are charming. Uh, well, well, welcome. Welcome to ET Live, Thanks for my having friend. Me. Uh, no, thank you for joining us. We have a lot to talk about. Sure, Obviously, sure. today is a big day with the uh, Golden Globe nominations. I know, right? I and your co star, Catriona Bell. Congratulations, yes. Katrina. That's just that's amazing. She's incredible. I mean, she carries the weight of that show almost single handedly. And um, yeah, the, you know, the fact that she's nominated season after season is testament mm -hmm. to her. And it's representing this amazing show. Right. Yeah, right. Have you had a chance to send her a text or, you know, I, I would imagine no. her phone is blown up today, but... No, I haven't. Not yet. I will do. Um, I only just found out, like, about an hour ago. Okay. <laughs> so I've right. been kind of travelling around, but I will do. Go. I'm sure she's somewhere <laughs> celebrating right now. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt. Um, we're celebrating that you're here. I mean, four seasons strong, this show. Uh, and we just started. I mean, we still have a ways to go this season. There have been a lot of developments with your character, Roger and Brianna. I mean, where do we even begin? I want know knowing what you know about the rest of the season what can we expect with their relationship what can we expect with their relationship turmoil yeah drama mm. conflict mm. love tears yeah. fighting <laughs> um they're at a bit of a stalemate at the moment roger and brianna i think and each of them refusing to come to the other's side that's just how they are right. together as a relationship i think it makes for a wonderfully honest truthful mm -hmm. relationship and creates a lot of really great drama I Will think, for the two of them Will there ever be, I know you can't give away too much, but I mean, obviously Outlander has already been renewed for, for seasons five and six. Will yeah. there ever be a happy ending for them or is this turmoil going to continue <laughs> to play out? I think they have moments of happiness. Okay. I don't think there's ever a happy ending. I think, um, you know, you, you never know. We'll wait and see what happens at the end of season four. There's definitely moments of happiness mm -hmm, of togetherness, yeah. potentially for them. I don't know. We'll it would be to too easy if it all fell into place right away, right? For like, all our hopeless you romantics some, out here. You want here. some drama, don't yeah, you? Right? you yeah. want, you want to keep that ball rolling and guessing what's going to happen with them. We don't want to make it too clear cut. Yeah, what do you hope happens with those two as a fan of the show? What do I hope happens maybe, maybe with maybe them? Maybe the next step in their relationship. I think the next step in the relationship for Roger's sanity should be he should just, you know, he should just maybe just let it go, mm. find a nice Scottish lass, and settle down. <laughs> and right, 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 right. Maybe start a farm or something. Okay. Sorry, so oh, wow. I like that. All right. Well, there's like a lot of drama between your guys' relationship yeah. on the show, on camera, but tell us a little bit about your relationship with Sophie off camera. You guys pals or not? Yeah. <laughs> we work very well together. We, we kind of, I feel like we hit the ground running. Sophie and I, work, we're very much on the same page with the characters. We very much have the same ideas on how we want to present Roger, how we want to present Brianna, and how we want to present them as a couple. And yeah. one of the big things for us is, is, is presenting that, you know, staying true to the honesty, the, the, the truth of, of our relationship. It's a complex thing. It's a complicated thing. And I think um, we always have the same ideas. We chat a lot about how we want to present certain scenes, how we want to play certain moments. Um, so I feel like we have a real... A really strong bond off camera. We have we have a lot of um, you know a lot of chemistry off, yeah. on and mm -hmm. off camera, Issues. and it works. Yeah, 100%. yeah. I mean, it, it helps when when you're on when you're on the same page, and you can have that collaborative, um, creative relationship with another yeah. actor. It, it helps a lot, especially when you're doing those more intimate scenes too. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of kind of have to have that chemistry, right? Or at least some kind of relationship with your co-star. Yeah, you have to have that chemistry, or you just pretend. Do but... you guys laugh about that kind of stuff too? Like. I mean, you know, those scenes are kind of intense. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean the, the, you know, they're, they're like any other scene. You just right. want to play, you know, you want to play the, the, the beat of it. You want to make sure that you present it in a way that's mm -hmm. going to be honest, I suppose. Yeah. How about you in real life, Richard? Like, are you as romantic as Roger is on the show? Would you consider yourself a hopeless romantic? No, I don't think. I think <laughs> Roger takes it to another level. Really? Um, I think he is absolutely a hopeless romantic and bless him for that, it, right. it, it causes, he gets into one or two sticky situations mm -hmm. because of just how passionate he is, mm -hmm. just how much yeah. he wears his heart on his sleeve. I think it trips yeah. him up every now and again, and I think as we watch season four, we'll see maybe a bit more of that. Um, but it's, it's one of the things I love about him. We kind of, act, you know, there are points where he just acts and thinks about it later, mm -hmm. and you know, suffers the consequences uh, further down the line. Um, 
Yeah, but I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm quite on Roger's level. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is the most romantic thing you've ever done for someone? The mo wow, you really put me on the spot. Right? <laughs> Or maybe it hasn't happened yet, you know? I think Take it just cues. hasn't happened yet. Take some cues from Roger. You know, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have a great, you have a well, great yeah, I have that, you know, I can always spring yeah. that on someone, you know, in the middle of a really passionate, romantic kiss where everything's just perfect. I could just halt that, mm. wait there a moment and propose. Mm -hmm. that, 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 seems, that seems to work. Hopefully it goes better than it did on the, the show. show yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so I'm going to put you on the spot again, but, you know, the, Welcome couples, to on the, Live. Welcome to <laughs> the couples on the show, I mean, are something else. As a fan of the show, objectively, who do you think is the cutest couple? Brianna and Roger, or Claire and Jamie? Oh, Brianna and Roger. There you go. Country <laughs> miles, they're just adorable, the two of them. They're so, you know, they just, they're so awkward together sometimes. I love, I just, I love everything that they are. I love the way that they're like, you know, an elastic band. They're continuously coming apart and springing back together again explosively. Yeah. I, I just love how the relationship unfolds. I love the, I feel like it's somehow more relatable. Um, maybe that's because they're a modern couple as opposed to, you know, Jamie and Claire being much more of the past. Mm. But, yeah. But then again, I'm biased. I was just about to say that you might be a little <laughs> biased. Really answer but that objectively. Yeah. So. We're not going to answer that because Outlander fans are really rabid. Right. Well, they're, they're, all going, they're going to have their opinion You're allowed on to that. Say they're it. going to have their opinion on that. <laughs> I love it. Richard, in the intro, obviously, we, we mentioned you're handsome, you're charming, uh, but you're also Scottish, too. <laughs> so we, you know, Denny well and I... Well observed. Right. Denny right. and I are curious, and, and we are hoping that you would be willing to teach us some kind of Scottish slang. Well, I've got a little list here. You do? Oh, you do? Okay. oh he came prepared. Oh, I love it. I prepared <laughs> earlier in my little cup. ET live card. I feel like a presenter. Oh, man. This I is very this. exciting. Scottish okay. slang, give exciting. it to us. I'm going to give you some Scottish slang, and you're going to guess what it means, right? Oh, what it means. Now, I've got okay. five of them here, okay. and I would put money on you getting one of them. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Right. I'm, I'm glad that you have like a lot of faith in us. He's foreshadowing the yeah. right now. He might not be wrong. All right, let's go. I feel like you're doing well if you get that one. All right, the first one is you're at it. You're at you're it? it? Like, I say you're at it. Um, you're, you're going for it. You're, you're pestering. You're, you, won't com you, you won't quit. You're, you're no. talking nonsense. Exactly. Okay. We're <laughs> perfect. I can, oh, wait, I can is see that the answer? I can see the card. I'm just kidding. You're cheating? I saw the card. Listen. They told, me to move, they told me to move more right before the, right, okay. Come back right, before the left, segment right, started. Okay. I'm going to move left no now. So we that. didn't get that? Okay, all right. And you get also no points. No points. We're <laughs> competing. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, the next one, ready. she's a bonnie lass. She's a bonnie lass? She is a bonnie, bonnie lass. lass. Is, oh, is, okay, give me a hint. Is it a good thing about someone or a bad thing? Oh, it's definitely a good thing. It's okay, so it's like a, a term of endearment. I would say it could definitely refer oh, to A good looker, maybe? Like, yeah. Good looking? A, really? A beautiful girl. I swear I didn't cheat on that one. No, I, I really know. I swear. Okay, cool. So that, that's our one that you think we It was a context clue. Okay. I mean, you yeah. are beautiful. I mean, I gave it away. I gave it away. But one point for no, you. No, I, I, I think I guessed that correct. You did. Yeah. You did. <laughs> okay, you're a chancer. You're a, a chancer. You're a chancer. You're a chancer. Like, um, you... Is that good or bad? I feel like you're... It's... it's um, you're, um, on what, your Oh, it's... What's the word that I'm looking for? Um, you're a chancer. You're a risky one. Risk taker. Like, you're a... Risk taker. We don't that's know about far, you. That's, that's close. That's okay. close. It's not quite your risk taker. It? You're pushing your luck. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. okay. So it is kind of like... So you're, mm. a, you're a chancer. You're a chancer. You're pushing, yeah. you're pushing your luck. Okay. Next one, okay. I like it a lot. I say it often. You're off your head. You're ah, crazy. You're off your head. You're crazy. You're like off the rock. What's your... What's your say it one more time. You're off your head. <laughs> yeah, oh, no I don't. You have stumped on that one. I, I can't even take a what guess. <laughs> you're after your heat. You're right. You're, you're yeah. You're a bit daft. You're See? a little bit. At least I got oh, one. Folks. You're a bit daft. You know. You're like. Oh, okay. You're, okay. You're, 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 you're clueless. You're... This last one's great. It was hoaching. Hoaching. It was hoaching. Hoaching. So I went out last night. I went to this club. It was a good time. Bar. You said it... that with such conviction. <laughs> <laughs> such <laughs> conviction. Because you said it. So excitedly. So, yeah. We have a good time when we so go out. Wrong. Was it? Was it? Oh, oh, so it was not. What's your guess? It was hoaching. I was out last night. Oh, it was, it was hoaching. I couldn't move. I couldn't oh, move. it's crowded. Yeah, <laughs> it was busy. But it also has a double meaning, especially in Glasgow. If you say it was hoaching, that can refer to the ratio of girls at a certain venue. 
Gettles? She, Gettles, oh. Gettles, girls. Girl. Oh, sorry. Ladies, girls. That's my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys be sure to check out new episodes of Outlander. Sundays on Stars. Richard, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you.